Buongiorno. Very a stick here. What the hell do you do with these things? This recipe is going to use one of these fennel bulbs. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, cross taste between, I guess, I don't know, celery with a little bit of aniseed in the background. Really, really nice things to cut with. Dead simple, really. Just cut with them like an onion. You've got to keep your eye on them. You don't want to burn them. Or you can just chop them up, use them in a salad. Really, really crunchy. Lovely things to use. So today we're going to do a very simple recipe. Fennel, white wine and lemon risotto. The ingredients for this recipe are really, really simple. You can see them laid out here. We've got a little bit of garlic, some uh, vegetable stock, lemon, one onion, some parmesan, uh, around about, uh, it just depends on how much you want to eat really, but it's about 140 grams arboreal rice. And it's important that this, uh, the rice that you use is the arboreal rice. Some here, a little bit uh, of white wine, around about 175 mils. And of course, the uh, fennel bulb. It's basically vegetarian, of course, apart from the cheese. Nice and simple. The uh, ingredients I'm going to use today, all the ingredients or all the amounts are going to be on uh, our Vario Stick Facebook page. Uh, and the amounts will probably do two people for dinner uh, wrong. I've never used uh, fennel bulbs before. It's, uh, as I say, to kind of treat them like an onion, really. You want to cut off the bottom because that's where the root's going to be. So that base is going to come off go and you want to take the top off as well that's these stalks and the fronds use the fronds dressing the recipe so we're going to take them off smell that aniseed already and basically what you're left with you might want to just check some of these outer uh, outer layers just to make sure they are crunchy enough to eat that's absolutely perfect that's what we're going to cook with it looks a little bit like an onion it cooks a little bit like an onion you might also want to take out that center depending on how big your bulb is. If you've got a couple of smaller ones that usually isn't much of a problem but it's certainly worth checking and any little outer bits as well. Great for the kids to eat, very healthy uh, vegetable indeed. So that's the base ingredients uh, chopped up fairly coarsely, you can go as fine as you like with this of course. Garlic, the medium onion and uh, the bulbs of fennel. I'm going to save oh, about a quarter of that for a little bit later on in the recipe. Now uh, the rest of this is going straight in the frying pan with uh, a little bit of oil. As I say, the, all of this now goes uh, in the frying pan. That's the fennel bulb, along with the garlic and the one medium onion. And you're going to gently, gently, gently fry this in either some butter or in some olive oil uh, until it goes a little bit translucent. Keep your eye on it. You don't want to burn it. Uh, just take your time uh, and let that heat do its job. As I say, it doesn't matter whether it's uh, butter or a little bit of olive oil, as long as you take your time. Uh, in the pan over there, I've got the veggie stock uh, just starting to come. You want that nice and hot um, for the rest of the recipe. You don't want to be using that cold. I'll come on to that in a minute. So far as the rest of the ingredients are concerned, you might well remember we had one lemon. Well, I've zested the lemon. There, that's the lemon zest. Uh, around about 25-30 grams of Parmesan cheese, around about 170 uh, mils of white wine and the um, arboreal rice. Remember, this is not basbati or normal white rice. We do need to be using the proper arboreal rice for, uh, for our recipe. Okay, we've got this now nice and soft. It's cooked through nice and gently. What we're going to do is we're going to pop the rice in. That's the arboreo rice, that's uncooked, straightforward rice, and we're going to stir this in. And what we're going to allow to happen is for all of these oils and the veggie that's in there, the fennel, the onion and the garlic, to coat nicely all of this rice. And we're going to stir it through on a very, very low heat for around about a minute to get all this arboreo rice properly coated. Okay, so that's been uh, running now for around about a minute. All of that arboreal rice is nicely coated in all the juices and the oils that are in there. And we're now going to pour on all of the white wine. 
and we're going to simmer that nicely now might take a minute or two again on this low heat no rush with this recipe until all of that wine all of that wine has evaporated okay so uh, that wine now as you can see is uh, evaporated really really nice and we've got our 550 mils or there and about of vegetable stock and we're going to put that back into here around about a ladle at a time slowly slowly does it you don't want to rush this task uh, you're putting it back in you're going to let the arboreal rice do its job and absorb all of those flavors keep that heat low 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 take your time um, and when it's uh, when it evaporates what's in there another ladle full of the vegetable stock until you've used most of the vegetable stock up nice and simple you might remember I put aside um, a quantity of the fennel bulbs. What I've done is I've simply, in an knob of butter in a frying pan, just fried them off so they're still crunchy. And what I'm going to do is add this crunchy fennel back into this just before we serve it. So as this stuff is uh, doing its job uh, with the stock cube, you can be cutting that up, frying it off in a little bit of butter, but keep it nice and crunchy so you've got a little bit of difference between this texture and the texture of the fennel in there okay so once you've got this cooked down to your specific taste i don't know whether you like your arboreal rice a little bit more al dente <clears throat> cook it down taste it make sure it's as as you require just be careful you might uh, taste this and think maybe maybe it needs a little bit of salt just hold off on that certainly the parmesan or the parmigiano we get out here in italy is quite salty so i don't think you're going to need to put salt in this recipe but when you've got that rice cooked to how you like it, what we're going to do is turn off the heat and we're going to add to it the um, zest of the lemon. Adds a little bit of colour as well, it's fantastic taste. Make sure we get all that. And the Parmesan cheese. And we're going to stir that in. Um, a little bit of black pepper. I suppose you could use... Um, chili flakes at this point but I prefer black pepper I'm going to stir that all together and we're going to let it stand for a few minutes just to allow this parmesan to uh, become all unctuous and yummy and gooey and what a lovely lovely dish this is what a fantastic smell so mix it all together put a lid on it leave it for a couple of minutes just to let all those juices, all the cheese and the lemon do their job, mixed together. Lovely. Okay, so that's been standing uh, covered for a couple of minutes. Let all that lovely unctuous cheese melt into that. That's really, really nice. The smell of those, that uh, lemon as well is absolutely fantastic. As I say, keep this nice and simple. It's a lovely uh, lunch for two or evening meal. Uh, however which uh, way you want to take it nice bottle of uh, white wine nice movie what more could you want really so i've got that on there you might remember earlier i uh, in butter I fried those few bits of uh, fennel just top dress with a little bit of that crunchy fennel that was fried in butter and a few of the fronds they really do taste uh, aniseedy for the top of the uh, the plate absolutely beautiful so i hope you enjoyed that recipe smells lovely to me so uh, i'm going to dig into my lunch enjoy my risotto lemon parmesan uh, risotto along with the bulbs of the fennel really really nice so this is uh, very rustic saying bon appetito and ciao ciao for now mm.